Okay, going in a nice linear order here, I have an, a, another question saying, describe the different types of neurotransmitter receptors and how they work. Okay, so again, intuitively, this is how they work. There's what's known as an ionotropic receptor, and what happens here is the action potential releases neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft, okay? And that's the space in between the presynaptic and postsynaptic terminals. Um, the neurotransmitter binds to the receptor, and this causes the channel to change shape and to open, okay? Um, the ions, the ions um, specific for that channel can now enter the cell. So essentially what happens there is the neurotransmitter binds to the receptor and paired with the receptor is a channel, okay, some, so, some sort of channel, okay, a protein essentially. And this channel allows ions then to flow through it. So what happens is we have a conformational change of the protein, okay, the channel, and um, it allows it to open. Once it's open, any of the ions specific for that channel can now enter the cell, okay? So that's how these ionotropic receptors work. Now, there's another type of receptor which is a lot slower, and that's called the metabotropic receptor, okay? So inside the cell, there's what's known as G proteins, okay? And G proteins are associated with this receptor. Um, the neurotransmitters bind to the cell and activate the G protein. So the neurotransmitters bind to the receptor and activate the G protein. Okay, which goes on to initiate what's known as a secondary messenger system. And this secondary messenger system produces a response, okay? But that whole process, that secondary messenger system, this G protein, is much slower. And that's important because everything we do, you know, if you just think about anything you do, if you think about thinking, if you walk or you work out or you run, all of those things require quite rapid action, you know, of the nervous system. So things have to be moving very, very fast. And um, so speed is an issue. And in that case, ionotropic receptors are much more efficient.